the vlog. So it's a couple days before New Year's. You guys won't be seeing this until after. So happy 2020. I don't know when you're going to see this exactly, but um, Mila is currently napping. She kind of woke up a little bit earlier. So I rocked her a little bit and she went back to sleep. So I decided it's a little like cloudy and stuff today, but Hobby Lobby put like their spring stuff, which is actually like not really spring. It's kind of like their neutral stuff really. I guess it just depends on what your style is, but they put a bunch of stuff on sale and people have been tagging me like crazy on Instagram, showing me the stuff. Cause I do want to like update some things in the house. I feel like I do this every new year, new year, new decor, new me. I'm a mama. Um, so I wanted to change some things up and I wanted to see what Hobby Lobby had. Fingers crossed that Mila cooperates and actually wants to leave her best Hobby Lobby life. She's been Hobby Lobby once, I think. And she was tiny, like super tiny. <laughs> and she slept the entire time we were in there, me and mama, we went Christmas shopping. So um, I'm probably gonna wear her in the store. Um, she seems a little bit better with that because she can see and move around. She's a very nosy child. Uh, she does not like being where she cannot see. So the car seat on the stroller is probably a no-go. So that's what we're going to do. Fingers crossed, we are successful. Um, so I'm excited. I want to take you guys along with us. Hopefully we find some goodies. I did actually get a package. I don't even know when it came. I'm thinking that it came and Cody just didn't tell me and it was laying on the table with a bunch of other mail. Speaking of laying on the table, we're not going to talk about the mess that is my house. And you're probably thinking, well, why are you leaving? Because I need a break. <laughs> And I wanted to start taking, I wanted to start taking some of the Christmas stuff down. Like I'm sitting here right now looking at the Christmas tree that is still up. But my storage containers are in the attic, which I don't, I'm not allowed to go up there. I'll be broke something, like a body part, possibly the attic. <laughs> but, um, so Cody needs to bring my boxes down. So then when she goes down for a nap or when she's chill and allows me to start taking some stuff down, then I will. So I'm going to quit jibber jabbing and I'm going to show you that package that I was just talking about. So drinking my coffee, but I actually picked this out on Oxley and here's why I've seen a billion and one influencers talking about the Tula brand on Instagram. I swear every time I get on there, at least one person is talking about them in their stories. And I'm like, are they really that good? So I wanted to try it out. I haven't really got to try this stuff out yet, but I wanted y'all, where is he? I wanted y'all to know that I am trying it out. I did pop this out of the box and put it under my eyes. I mean, I don't know if I can see a huge difference. I do know that it felt really good. It says it's cooling. I don't know if y'all can read that. And I will say that I felt like it was cooling. So if you're like trying to wake up in the morning and you pop this under your makeup or something, uh, and it does look a little glowy when you put it on. So it did feel cooling. I have not tried this. I think this is a primer for under makeup. So I will give this a try. And yeah, I'm going to finish her getting... She's running like her life depends on it. I'm going to finish her getting ready. Go ahead and put my wrap on. That's the biggest tip I can give you if you're going to baby wear. Do not wait until you get wherever you're going to try to put it on. Just go ahead and put it on before you leave the house. That's the easiest thing. And I'm only going to wear a tank top. And I'm going to throw like a cardigan on. Just something easy so if I get in the vehicle on the way home and I get hot or something I can take it off because my child puts off so much heat she's like a little sauna to the hobble lob we're not going to be there long okay yeah we're not going to be there long because i just don't know if you're going to want to be there long so here is my new swaddles that we love they're by nested bean i can sit with my arms up yeah i got two of them they have little weighted like beads in here so it makes her feel good and secure all right let's unzip you sis We probably need to put short sleeves on you because you're so hot and you're going to be on oh, mama. Yeah. We don't want you to burn up. Yeah. I'm going to take you out of this onesie. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, sweet girl. Okay. Let's see what we're going to put on. Hello, family. 
Hey, look at yourself. You on the camera. Hey. Hey. Look, look. Hey, family. Oh, oh. <gasps> Hi, family. Where's the rest of you Leop? Let it out. Let it out there, Leop. That way it is. All right, let's find some. The hair, the bar. Bring a staring at a demigod. Here's our song, Mook nope. Mook. Every snow does in summer. My snow up against the burning sand. Gorgeously chanted in summer. When it gets warm. Wait to see what my buddies will think of me. Much cooler I'll be in summer. Me in summer and I'll be a happy snowman. When life gets rough. I'm gonna tell him. Don't you dare. In summer. Great job, baby. You really hit those high notes back there. And now we're at the Mickey Diz. The Mucka Diz. Would you like to try our new? Go ahead with your order. Um, can I get a medium cinnamon cookie latte cold? Forty-two. Okay. Anything else? And let me get a small fry. Okay. And a McChicken sandwich. Is that it for you? That's it. Six seventeen. Thank you. I got a large. I forgot my drink is free. Should I use it? If y'all don't, if y'all get coffee from McDonald's, any kind of McCafe stuff, download the McDonald's app. Because every five, every five coffees, you have to get them to scan the little thing. Every five coffees, you get a free one. Should have got a large. Did I need a large? Probably not. Mm. You too. Thank you. From six dollars to two dollars. What are y'all doing? What are you guys doing? Not really sure how far I can pull up because these people is all in the way. Always make sure you taste your coffee drinks before you leave to drive through people. Shoot, taste any drink. If you buy a drink, sometimes the, the machine's flat. Thank you. This cup ain't even full. Sure, that'll watch. Their drinks have shrunk. <laughs> Yum, 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 yum. Can y'all pull up any? Pull up, sis. I ain't moved. I'm just sitting here at the window. Alright, I think we found the 75% off stuff. Uh, oh, that's cute. It ain't but 10 bucks. That is cute. It says, darling. Do you like that, Mimi? Some cute stuff over here. This is cute. It's five bucks. This is eight. Hmm. They got some random lamps on sale. Like there's no sign over here, so you wouldn't know. Twenty-three dollars. So I've only really seen one aisle of the 75% off stuff, but the lamps seem to be reduced. I think these are 75% off. They do have some really pretty lamps. I love those. Those are 20. That's not bad, y'all. If y'all need a lamp, kind of feel like I want a lamp. <laughs> hmm. What you think, Mules? I mean, but $13. You want one for you, Ray? Righty. Alrighty. And Hobby Lobby was a success. 
we spent $50 and I got a lamp and that lamp was originally $50 so I'm gonna show you all the goodies that I got I got this there was a couple of them up there I wonder if nobody really knew what it was but it's like this jewelry um, display kind of thing and it's gold which matches my other jewelry thing and I'm kind of like run out of room. It's really not for, the jewelry thing that I have is like for earrings and bracelets, not really for necklaces. So this is more so for like necklaces and stuff. And I got a few necklaces that I got hanging on that. And they're obviously like hitting the, the top of the thing that they're on because it's not made for necklaces. Probably shouldn't have went through that because that was a yellow light. But I was already going. I was already gone. <laughs> Melee did a fantastic job in Hobby Lobby. We're getting more used to the whole wearing situation. I still feel like the other day when I wore it, we took her to the movies on Christmas and I wore her, there goes the passy, I wore her into the movie theater. I ended up taking her out once we got all situated, but she fell asleep. So I kind of just waited as long as I could and then I fed her and she just fell back asleep again. Um, but she was way more comfortable then. I had it a little bit tighter. Either I got it way too tight or I had it too loose. And I feel like I had it almost too loose a while ago. Um, but I mean, she was already in it. And I think maybe the more you wear it, it just stretches over, over time, like in that period. So even if I did have it on tight enough, it might just stretch. But she fell asleep and she knocked, she knocked out for a good little while. She could have slept longer. Um, but she was getting hot. That's one thing about her wearing her. She just gets so hot. And I know it doesn't help that when I start getting hot, I probably, I don't know what I was thinking. I should've just wore a shirt. Like a shirt, instead of trying to wear a cardigan. What was I thinking? I was not, that's just it. I, I guess I thought I was thinking. And as soon as I started riding, I'm like, why didn't I just wear a short sleeve shirt? It's 71 degrees. And it's not, New Year's. I don't know what day it is, y'all. It's that funny time in between Christmas and New Year's where you don't know what day it is. It's just a weird, <laughs> it's just a weird time. I'm excited to show y'all some stuff. I know I mentioned in another video that I was considering going like back to essential oils like I was before. Um, and I actually did. All of my new stuff should be here. Why is she looking down? All of my new stuff should be here on the 2nd of January, I think. So I did pick up some stuff for that. Um, if y'all follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of me getting rid of a bunch of candles and waxes and some essential oils. Um, I got rid of just like some not good essential oils. So um, I'm not saying that Eden's garden is like trash or nothing. I'm not at all saying that because I still think it's good. I just got rid of um, some of the blends and stuff. I feel like some of our singles are good. I don't. I might change my mind when I go back to Young Living. If y'all didn't know, I um, used Young Living in 2015, um, like right after we got married. We got married at the end of 2014. In the beginning of 2015, my friend Anna introduced it to me. And she's been using it ever since. I kind of just fell off the wagon. <laughs> Back then, nobody knew what it was and they didn't care to know what it was. They didn't understand it. And then life just kind of happened and I slowly kind of got away from it. I never got away from essential oils altogether. Oh no! I never got away from them altogether. If y'all was watching me for a while, you know I've shown them and I use them. I diffuse them, use them, whatever. But Young Living is like, pretty much the only company that you can hey young living is pretty much like the only company that you can actually ingest some of their oils like the vitality oils you can actually take internally um eden's garden even says on their website that they would not pretty much approve you to drink them <laughs> theirs because they're not whatever it is you're not supposed to drink them you can internally take the young living vitality oils it's right there tells you that it's the good stuff so um she's upset you shouldn't have got rid of the pat pat well i can't stop right now i know you should probably finish your nap 
Are you hot back there? One of the things I don't like about this truck, you have to find where to turn the air on in the back. Hold on. Can you feel it? There he is. Let me tell you about this child. She tries to sit up. She despises laying back. She wants to pull herself up. And that's what she's trying to do right now, is lift her body up out of that car seat. And she can't, so she gets mad. I can, I can see her. <laughs> mug, mug. To be continued. All right. I'm gonna show you the stuff I got from Hobby Lob. I will link this down below. Cody got it for me for Christmas. Yeah, the mommy hook. Well, it's not. Let's not break anything. So Amelie's doing a little tummy time in front of me. I'm gonna show you the goodies that we got. Tell you why we got it. Where I'm gonna put it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can tell you how much everything was, and y'all can do the math if you want. So this was not on sale, so I did pay um, regular price for this because I used the 40% off coupon on something else that cost more money. I could have waited until glass was on sale, which will probably be next week, but who knows when I'll go back. I picked up this glass jar, which I plan on putting water in, and I'm going to leave that sitting out next to my diffuser. To make it easier to fill up blah 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 um so i like that and i like that it had like a little bit of a like pattern on it so it's just not some bottle um this is the jewelry thing that i was talking about which i thought was really neat so you can leave it out yeah or it comes with a little thing to hook it in place so you can leave it like that so it has like the little hooks here to hang necklaces it's got little thingies here i'm assuming you could do earrings on this side but this was originally 18 and i paid four dollars four dollars so that'll match the other thing that i think i picked up from hobby lobby last year around this time one of the vase things that i bought around this time i think like the last last year when i had like a sale like this or a year before i don't know this is like one of my favorite times to get some stuff mine didn't have like a whole bunch of stuff but i will say after the spring they will put all of this stuff on sale and that's a good time to go when they put all of that new all the new spring stuff but i did find this which i will probably put on that shelf above our couch in the living room because I broke, well, I cracked one of the other ones, so I'm probably gonna get rid of that. This was normally 35 and I paid eight for that. That's very nice. Do you think it's very nice? You wanna flip over? You do? So as I was mentioning about essential oils, we are going on a little like work trip thing for Cody next month. Are you sobering again? And uh, I was going to buy a little bag to put like our essential oils in when we travel because we're going to be there for like a week. So I wanted to make sure we had some in the hotel room. I was going to buy like a little essential oil travel bag and it's pretty much just like a little bag and it'll have like the little things on the inside for you to stick it. I seen this. It's pink. It says hopes. There's nothing on it. Like it wasn't like messed up or anything and it was a dollar. So, I tried to see if I could flip it inside out, and I can, in the store. So, my idea is to make my own bag, because I'm crafty like that. So, I'm going to have to figure out exactly how I'm going to do that. But, it totally flips, you know, inside out, so I'll be able to not stitch, but I can probably glue... Uh yeah or something i don't know i haven't decided yet but it was only a dollar so even if i don't end up using it for that you can throw something in it you know it's just a little cute bag it's got a little gold zipper on it so I probably need to leave it flipped out so that when i do decide to do it it's ready i really had essential oils on the brain when i went in there because my problem the first time i didn't make it um like super accessible for me to diffuse the oils and stuff i would store them away and i never seen them 
I hated filling the thing up with water because it was like all the way over there, which hint is the reason why I got this. Obviously that's not a really good excuse, but it's just gonna, I'm just trying to make my life a little bit easier, especially now with a baby. I know that I'm gonna be like, oh, taking those little extra steps, y'all, takes up your time in a day. But I seen this and I'm probably gonna sit out a few oils. Like I said, we're not gonna hide them in a cabinet in a drawer. Isn't it right, sis? We're going to display them. So I thought that would be really cute to have this filled with water next to the diffuser. Have like my most frequently used ones just sitting out next to it. As well as this. This is cute as crap. And the, the diffuser I'm getting is the Aria one from Young Living. It's the round glass one. I am so obsessed. I have wanted this for the last longest. Almost five years. Yes. Are you excited? Mommy's excited. Yes. So... I'm probably going to sit this on top of a tiered thing. I don't know, but I love that. It wasn't on sale, but it was $15.99. And this is what I used my 40% off coupon on, which made it $9.59. Not bad. And then for Millie Fofili. Millie Fofili, are you watching the lamp? Not the lamp. Are you watching the ceiling fan? Mommy got you a lamp. Got Millie this lamp. I'm gonna put it on that table that you were sitting on previously. Um, because we have been using the little sound machine as a little bit of light in the evening when we sit over here, but it actually needs to be closer to her head. They suggest it being um, like on the same level as her head or like really like near it, which it is in our bedroom because she sleeps in a bassinet and it's right there at my nightstand. But in here, it's like all the way over here. So when she takes a nap, she's still hearing some sounds because the sound machine's over here and she's hearing noises from that way and sometimes she wakes herself up. Um, so they suggest to put it like level with them. So we're gonna move it over here because our head lays over there. Um, so we're gonna need a little bit of light over here. Plus there will be nothing left once we move that. And I seen this cute little lamp. This lamp, like I said, pretty sure I said was 50 bucks and we got it for $12. You cannot beat that and it come with a light bulb. There's a light bulb in there. You just can't beat that. You cannot beat that. So I'm gonna set this up while we're in here right now. Go ahead and move her sound machine over. Since she's happy. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty excited about my little haul here. I cannot wait to set up my diffuser. It'll be here in like two days, three days. Three days? I don't know what day it is. <laughs> time y'all see this i probably already got it so i'm pretty sure that i have posted some stuff on instagram i did create a new instagram so for those of you that could care less about essential oils and don't want to know about it and don't really want to see it all the time it's okay i have you in mind i created a new instagram so that those of you that do want to see it and are interested in learning more about it you can follow us over there. I will link it down below and I will put it here magically across the screen so that you can go and follow us. Lights great. <laughs> so, um, Cody's home. Mila's in her crib, like not asleep, but like not awake. 
she's just kind of chilling i'm getting ready to make supper um and i was trying to get some stuff put away but i'm going to get supper started thank y'all for shopping with us today i enjoyed it it's always good to just get a break and get out of the house definitely necessary today so um we will see y'all in the next one. I'm excited for 2020. I'm excited to take you guys along with us for the year. I got some fun things planned that I want to do. So, um, yeah. See you guys later. Have a beautiful and blessed day, y'all. Bye.